You know what's next? I believe the main event. The big one. The main event. The whole reason you came. Enough chit chat. Let's find out about our next two fighters. Now the tell tape for our next two combatants. Bobby Sanchez from Riverside, California, a wrestling-based background, a record of 9 and 14 from United BJJ. And his opponent, Chad George, nicknamed the Savage, fighting out of PKG Training Center. He's 5'6", 135 pounds, based out of Sacramento, California, now living in Los Angeles. You see how these guys match up both at 135 pounds, even at 5 feet 6 inches tall. Only three years difference with Sanchez, the kid, being three years younger than the older savage, Chad George. Our official in charge of this fight, Mike the Beard Beltran. Can I call him that? I hope I can. I you have my permission. Three five-minute rounds scheduled. This is our main event, and a great main event it is. Sanchez, tough, durable, skillful fighter, good cardio. Chad the Savage George very 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 difficult and tenacious fighter very intelligent fighter for those who don't think that this is a thinking man's game Chad George completely turns that on its head George the left-handed fighter Sanchez the righty both guys have good wrestling backgrounds you can see the thick legs too of, of Chad George you see this the quickness of both fighters George responding, defending that takedown very well. Sanchez defends the defense by pulling guard. Chad, they're there banging away at the midsection of Bobby the Kid Sanchez. Sanchez has been plagued by submission losses in previous fights, looking to adapt and be able to, to roll with that and not get caught. And that's going to be a necessary skill because Chad George has got a very good mixed bag of skills, both standing on his feet and on the ground. Yeah, George is a well-versed fighter. He's well-traveled, fighting a lot of big shows. That's why he's the main event here today. People love him. People love watching him fight. Looking to get past the guard of Sanchez is Chad George, and he's pounding away at the midsection trying to force a move here. Yeah, Sanchez not really executing uh, much here. He's just kind of holding on, trying to avoid the strikes of Chad George, and, and he's, he kind of is, but he's also... Not looking good at the judges when you're just sitting there hanging on on bottom. Now he's back to uh, a full guard. This is the butterfly guard. And, of course, Larry, or, uh, the referee stands him up. This time Mike Beltran. Chad going back to that jab, bouncing around on his toes. More of a boxing-style stance. Body kick. Say to kick to the midsection there by, by Bobby the Kid Sanchez. Sanchez also turning out of Kings MMA, by the way. Good double leg takedown by Sanchez. Gets George down on the ground and into side mount right away. Sanchez is tough. Again, his career adjustment has been, he's been plagued by some submissions. But he's got good wrestling for sure, and he's very strong. The north-south position now. Oh, and a side Whoa. choke from bottom by Chad George. Can, does he get this? Is he really going to pull this off? Chad George, again, going for submission here. And he and got he it. does. Wow. It's like an anaconda choke from the bottom, a, a move you really don't see very often from bottom. It's normally a move you hit in like a scramble. Very hard to get leverage off your back. Chad George says, Pff. leverage? Who needs that? Yeah, Chad George, again, a guy who can do it on the ground. He can do it on his feet. And, and Sanchez, again, falling victim to yet another submission specialist. Sanchez still plagued by guys with great submissions. We're going to break, but when we come back, some highlights and the official word from Joe Martinez, because it's really not official until he says it. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Bad Beat 2. <laughs> Welcome back, folks, to Bad Beat 2 here at the Commerce Casino. We just saw our main event between Chad the Savage George and Bobby the Kid Sanchez. And what a matchup. Savage making quick work of the kid. Yeah, the kid uh, was failed on his first takedown attempt, got the second one, and he kind of failed on that one, too, because as soon as he got down on the floor with Chad George, even though he was on top in a dominant position, he, got a, he, got, he was susceptible to a fantastic Anaconda choke from bottom by Chad George. A move you don't see very often. Few can pull it off, and Chad George is one of them. 
Yep, well, the quality of fighter in Chad George you don't see very often either. He's definitely one of the elite fighters that we see coming up to the ranks in mixed martial arts. Let's make his work official, put it on paper, vocally, so to speak, through Joe Martinez. Let's take a look at some of the action. Bobby the Kid Sanchez did what people should do with a guy with Chad George, try to take him out of his element, try to force the fight on him, but sometimes that backfires. Yeah, first takedown unsuccessful for Bobby Sanchez, second one successful, but that's where Chad George locks up this beautiful anaconda choke from bottom. Uh, a really a, a tough move to get, but he locks it up. You see how he's got his arms locked. That's squeezing the artery. He's basically making Bobby Sanchez choke himself with his own arm. Sanchez had no choice but to tap. Bobby the Kid Sanchez looking to turn his career back into the win column more, but trying to do that against Chad the Savage George, not the easiest thing to do. He fails in doing so because it is that hard, but nonetheless a great effort. Yeah, a great fight to cap off a, a good night of fights. We saw amateurs, we saw professionals, we saw takedowns, we saw submissions, we saw knockouts, we saw everything. Even a girl fight, we saw everything you want to see in mixed martial arts. A fantastic night here at Commerce Casino. We thank you here for joining us at the Commerce Casino for Bad Beat 2. I am, as I was in the beginning of the night, the Yak Man, Ryan Yacovetti. He's who he was in the beginning of the night, a very grounded individual, Mr. R.J. Clifford. We thank you for joining us. Good night, God bless, and go to BamaUSA.com for more action coming your way. Thank you.